You know, they should have been an easy task for me. But somehow it feels so hard. Praise the Lord. Praise God. I'm going to invite Evangelist Fraser to stand. Praise the Lord. Praise God. I'm called to introduce this young man. He's my brother. Praise God. Praise the Lord. You know, he's the second of seven children from my mother and father. Praise God. He's the husband of one wife with two beautiful children. Praise God. He's been married for, I think, 17 years. 18 years. I missed one year. They celebrated their 18th anniversary, I think, April 6th of this year. Praise the Lord. Praise God. You know, this young man that I've called to introduce is one who knows the Lord. Praise God. You know, he's a true man of God. You know, I remember the night, you know, his life was not on the right track. When he was drunken, praise God. But I remember the night when he received soberness. You know, it was a Sunday night service. You know, he and Evangelist Evans that you see sitting there and Brother Barnett. You know, the three of them were standing at the window. And when Bishop Henry began to preach the word of God. You know, I remember that night when my brother walked through the door. And I remember the spirit of the living God fell upon him that night. Praise his holy name. Praise God. And it took him to the floor, church. Praise God. Praise his name. You know, I was trying to figure out what was wrong with my brother. You know, he was moving all the chairs. He was moving all the brethren. And he was all over the building. Praise God. But thank God for that night. You know, the drunkenness was removed. And he became sober until this day. And that was probably going to some 30 years now. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God. And today I'm proud to introduce to you my brother, Evangelist M. Fraser. You know, let us pray him of Church of God. You know, he's a fiery speaker. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You know, he's one that speaks with the anointing. You know, truly, you know, let us pray that that anointing will rest upon him today. You know, as Jesus, as he stood up to speak, he said, the, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because he has anointed me to preach the good tidings unto the meek. He has anointed me to preach, to open the doors of the prisoners. Praise the Lord. And to loose those that are bound. To set the captives free. And to bring liberty today. And truly that is what the church needs today. We need to be liberated. We need to be awakened. And we need to get sober. So Church of God, I present to you none other than Evangelist M. Fraser of the congregation. The congregation Evangelist M. Fraser accept him in Jesus' name. Amen. the program to pray prior you know deliverance so I'm gonna ask the church to stand with me and we're gonna bow our heads and we're gonna pray that you know he will receive that true anointing father in the name of Jesus Christ your only begotten son conquering line of the tribe of Judah in the name of Jesus father we present your servant Lord, he is nothing without you. But, oh God, we pray that you will rest upon him. We pray you will anoint him. We pray, oh God, that you will uplift him. Father God, we pray, Lord, that your Holy Spirit will go before and that your words will come as a mighty tool that will bring restoration unto your people. Bless him, Lord. Bless him right now, Lord, we beseech you. Lord, and let your people, oh God, be receptive. Father God, as you said, you have bring him, Lord, to preach the tidings unto the meek. Give us a meek spirit, Lord, that we are able to dilute your words. Bless, Lord, we pray in Jesus' holy name. And the beauty of Jesus
himself and love to magnify his, his kingdom. But when we start to give God the glory, then the kingdom of the devil will decrease. And the kingdom of God will increase. Lift up your hands and give God the glory. I can't tell you the kingdom of the devil is still decreasing. At the name of Jesus. Because I know the God in whom I believe. And I am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed against that day. Let me tell you something, children of God. You are some Christians. The only time they seem to want to praise God is when something good are going for them. Some people will never give God the glory when things are not so right. But that doesn't define a true child of God. You know what defines a true child of God? It's when hard hell is breaking loose against you. And you can find that attitude and that consciousness Humanness, regardless of what is breaking loose around you, to say like the psalmist, I will bless the Lord at all times. This prayer shall continually be my mouth. Come on, kingdom people. Hallelujah, Junkie Kingdom. 
to grow up in a home, who know my daddy? Who know my daddy? Come on, Adi, can you know my daddy? Hold up your hand. Who my daddy? Anybody know my daddy? Yes, every time I see him, him always jump. Him always on him liquor. One day I look upon him and say, Why oh, you drink so much, I can't hold your liquor. He says, son, you never see me when I drink it. He says, me no want to see you when you drink. Because as you take a little sip, you're drunk and you start to stumble on. Yeah? Because drunk in people stumble. And when you get drunk, you have to sleep. That's why Paul said, awake. Hallelujah. Because for somebody to be awake, you must be asleep. And you're only awake when you wake. You must stay sober. You know, if you walk and a jump and you tumble down and a butt down the place. You feel walk sober as a child of God. Hallelujah, hope right. Redeem in the time. Anytime you see him all your junk, and trust me, he makes some junking decision. Cause when you're junk, you tend to make some decision when you're right. Never make a situation, a, a, a judgment in a junking situation. Because it's going to be a junking judgment. Yes. Hallelujah. For the world has been drunk with the wine of the false prophet. Junking, drunkness. We are junkin' people, but we know that we are the elected people. Come on now, uh, I'm coming down. So when him get drunk, him turn him over, him lick over. My Lord. I remember one time My Lord. when I was a little boy, I saw him come from across the gully. And when I went up to him, you remember brother Barnett? My Lord. Man have an all kind of bruise. Yes. Junkin' people will fell down and you will bruise up yourself if you are a child of God wake up and come out of your drunkenness wake up and come out of your drunkenness when you look all over him all kind of bruise and you say my God I'm bloody when we go up on the hill because me I say I want to help him and me a little boy and me and him tumble down the hill thank God my neck never broke thank you Jesus it's not good to be drunk hallelujah And the next morning he wake up and he don't know him belly cut out. That a skill send drinks until him junk. The next morning he wake up in a Kingston Public Hospital. And know him don't know him cut out. Him not sober. He don't know what go on. Listen now. Listen to me evangelist. When you get drunk under the spirit, nothing that anybody say. I'm 
coming down. I'm coming down. Come here, brother Barnett. You see when you have the Holy Ghost with you? Anywhere you want, go. You go in hell and you come out. You go down to the uttermost part of the heart. You will come out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I reach the veil of Jordan, I said, be my hand chosen. Be a subside.